Hello students, now we are going to see three phase voltage source inverter. Based on the conduction time of a switch, three phase voltage source inverters are divided into two types. They are 180 degrees conduction mode and the second one is 120 degrees conduction mode. Okay, so this is the time for which a switch in VSI will be operated. Okay, first let us see 180 degrees conduction mode. Okay. First, we are going to see 180 degree conduction mode. Okay. So, in the three phase inverter of each switch, conduct for 180 degrees of a full cycle. A full cycle consists of 360 degrees. So, here each switch in a wing, in an arm will be conducted for 180 degrees. So, in a three phase voltage source inverter, we will be having six switches. Two, two switches for each phase, okay. Two switches for each phase. For A phase, we are having two switches. For B phase, we are having two switches. And for C phase, we will be having two switches. Likewise, we will be having total six switches, okay. So, we are applying a DC voltage. We know that VDC plus and minus VDC. We are going to get three phase AC supply as output. Okay, that is what three phase inverter, right? So this is A phase, and here we are going to get B phase, and from this you are going to get C phase. All these three phases are connected together. That is called neutral point. Okay, so here these are switches: switch one, three, and five, and here switch two switch 4 and switch 6 okay these are the switches the upper side switches so here you can see here these are the upper side switches okay these are upper group these are upper group switches so you can see that the upper group switches are odd numbered switches right s1 s3 and s4 Similarly, you have lowered group switches, right? These are lower group switches. Which are even number. Okay. So odd numbered switches are upper group switches, even number group are lower group switches. Okay. So any of the switch in a wing here this is a wing here okay so this is a wing this one this is one wing this is second wing and this is third wing here okay so at given instance any one of the switches in a given wing or arm will be conducting okay if s1 is conducting s4 will be turned off if s4 will be conducting s1 will be turned off okay so here in the 180 degrees conduction mode okay s1 conducts for 180 after s1 s4 will conduct for 180 degrees in a full cycle of 360 degrees similarly s3 conducts for 180 degrees after that s6 will be conducted for 180 degrees in a full cycle of 360 degrees so same thing happens for s2 and s5 okay that is what we call 180 degrees conduction okay here you can see the theory here i have mentioned here each arm or wing so each arm consists of s1 and s4 belongs to one arm here s3 s6 consists for one arm and s5 and s2 are contributing the third arm okay so they will be turned on one after another with 180 degrees interval okay it means that s1 conducts for 180 degrees and s4 conducts for 180 degrees of a cycle so this is the process and we know that what is a three phase three phase is three phases a b and c which are displaced by 120 degrees so a to b there will be 120 degrees displacement b to c there will be 120 degree displacement and c to a there will be 120 degree displacement this is a three phase supply right so here a phase is being contributed by first wing b phase is being contributed by second wing 
similarly c phase is being contributed by third wing right that means so s the first wing is contributing a phase so that means s1 will conduct at zero instance zero degree instance and b phase is being contributed by second wing so after 120 degrees s3 will be conducted c phase is contributing by third wing so after 120 degrees s5 will be conducted to get three phase supply okay here it implies that if s1 is fired at omega t is equal to zero degree instance then s3 will be fired at 120 degrees so this firing means turning on the switch okay so generally the switches are a thyristor or b igbt mostly igbt or mosfet okay so these are the switches we use practically so there is application called gate firing using which we can turn on these switches and turn off them okay so they will be given firing angles so that the switches will be turned on that's why here we have mentioned firing okay so when s1 is fired at 0 degrees s3 will be fired at 120 degrees s5 will be fired at 240 degrees so that we will, we are going to get three phase supply okay so this is what going to be happen now we are going to see how this conduction of switches will generate three phase ac supply from a given dc supply okay this is what we are going to see okay so let us proceed so here i have drawn the conduction schematic diagram here Okay, you can see from 0 to 316, this is a 1 pulse cycle. Okay, so first S1 is the switch in first wing, right? So S1, let us say S1 is conducting from 0 to 180 degrees. Okay, after this, the same wing switch that is S4 will be conducting after S1. Okay, so here this is A wing, so that's why I have mentioned A here. Okay, after here S1 is started conducting from 0 degrees, it is contributing A phase. So B phase is being contributed by S3 and S6 here. This is B phase. You can see this is B symbol here. Okay. So after 120 degrees, like here, this is 120 degrees, right? S3 will be started conducting. Okay. After 120 degrees from S3, S5 will be conducted, which is contributing C phase. Okay. So this is how we are going to get the three phase supply which is displaced by 120 degrees from each phase okay now we are going to see what is happening between 0 to 60 degrees okay so for that i am highlighting this this is the region 0 to 60 degrees right sorry this is the region from 0 to 60 degrees if you observe what are the switches that are turned on in this period okay so switch 1 is turned on switch 6 is turned on switch 5 is turned on okay so, what are the switches that are turned on from 0 to 60 degrees? From 0 degrees to 60 degrees. Okay. Switch 1 and switch 6 and turn on switch 5. Okay. Switch 5 are connected. So here you can see there are two odd number switches turned on and one even number switch is connected. That means odd number means there are two switches from the upper side here. Okay. They are upper group switches. Okay. Two are upper group switches here. This is S1, this is S1. We know that S1 is conducting to create A phase and S1 is conducting for C phase. Right, this is A phase, this is C phase, and we know that S six is connecting for B phase. This is B phase, right? So all these three will be connected to one point that is called neutral. This is neutral here. Okay, and the input voltage is DC voltage, VDC plus and minus VDC. Okay, so if you observe here, let us say all these are having equal resistance R as load. Okay, so you can see that. Here we have two resistors connected in parallel, so that equivalent resistance can be R by 2, right? And here lower side we have one resistor R. Okay, now we have a voltage VDC applied across this 
So if we find the voltage across this combination here, okay, so that will be this voltage here up to this, that will be plus and minus 2, so VDC by 3, this will be VDC by 3, and this will be plus and minus 2 VDC by 3. So this is the voltage we are going to get here. Okay, so if you observe here, this is the voltage here V A N is equal to V C S. Here between A and N, here we have V D C by 3. Similarly, between C and N, we have V D C by 3. But between here, this is V, right? V and N, this is N to V, V N to V, it is plus 2 V D C by 3. But we need it from V B to N, that is inverse of 2 V D C by 3. Okay, I hope you understand. So from neutral to B, we have plus 2 V D C by 3. From B to neutral, it will be minus 2 V D C by 3. So we have obtained the phase voltages from 0 to 60 degrees on axis. Okay, so let us try to draw these waveforms in a graph here. Okay, so here V A N is V D C by 3. V B N is minus 2 V D C by 3. Okay, so V A N is so here this one, V A N is, so this is peak magnitude V D C, so I have divided into two parts, so each line here indicates V D C by 3, so here from 0 to 60 degrees, V A N is plus V D C by 3, right, so this is the magnitude is V D C by 3 here, and V B N is minus 2 V D C by 3, right, so here this is minus V D C by 3, this magnitude is minus V D C by 3, so which is double, we need minus 2 VDC here, so that will be double of this guy. So this is a conduction, minus 2 VDC by 3. This magnitude is minus 2 VDC by 3. This is VDN. And VCN is plus VDC by 3. VCN is plus VDC by 3. From 0 to 6 degrees. So this is the behavior of phase voltage. Now let us see what is happening to the line voltage. Okay, we are going to see line voltage is between 0 to 60 degrees on axis. Okay, line voltage is nothing but difference between two lines. So, VAB is difference of voltage between VAN minus VBN. What is the value of VAN here? VAN is plus VDC by 3. VBN is minus 2 VDC by 3. Right? So, if you calculate this, that will be plus VDC. Likewise, we are going to calculate three line voltages. Okay, the second line voltage is VBC, which is equal to VBN minus VCN, which is equal to V VBN is minus two VDC by three, right? So we are substituting these values here. VBN is minus two VDC by three, right? Minus VCN is VDC by three. So this will be like minus VDC. Third line voltage VCA is equal to VCN minus VA, which is equal to VCN is VDC by 3 minus Three line voltage VAB is plus VDC, VDC is minus VDC, VCA is 0. Okay, I am going to draw the graph here. So VAB is plus VDC, so this is plus so here I am drawing plus VAB VAB is plus VDC, right? so this one so this is plus VDC VBC is minus VDC so this is minus VDC VAB is plus VDC, so this magnitude is plus VDC, and here this magnitude is minus VDC, VBC, and VCA is 0 here, right, VCA is 0, for 0 to 60 degrees, right, now let us see what is happening from 60 to 120 degrees, okay, so for that, let us see what are the switches that are turned on in this period, so this is the period here, 60 to 120 degrees, so if we observe clearly, 
switch 1 is on, switch 6 is on, but here switch 2 is on. Okay, here we have two even numbers, S2 and S3. Huh? S1 is 1 on number from 60 to 128. Okay, so from 60 degrees to 120 degrees. Okay. So let us see what is happening between 60 and 120 degrees. Okay, so the switches in the are this one, S2 and S6. These are the switches that are conducting in this period. Right, so we can see there are one upper group switch that is S1 and two lower group switches. This upper group and these are lower group switches. Okay, okay lower group switches. Okay, so let us draw the circuit here. We have plus and minus VDC. VDC supply. And here we have one upper group switch. It is connecting to A group, A phase. Okay. Right, this is S1. And S2 is connecting for C phase here. This is C phase, this is A phase. And S6 is connecting for B phase. Okay, all these three switches will be connected at one point that is called neutral. Okay, so if you rearrange this, this will be one resistor on the upper side, and we have two resistors connected in parallel. Then we have this. Okay, so this is let us say they are having same resistance R, R, R. Okay, so on the below side, you can see here these two are two parallel magnetic resistors. Current resistance will be how much? R by 2. Okay, so the voltage here will be distributed like this. Let's see, that is 2 VDC by 3 on the upper side and plus minus VDC by 3 on the lower side. Okay, you can see here from BAM voltage is 2 VDC by 3. From N to B here, V. NB right, is equal to VDC by 3, which is also equal to BNC. But we need VBN and VCN. So it should be equal to minus VDC by 3. Right? So this is the voltage of phases for 60 to 100 degrees connection. Right? So yeah, let us draw the phase voltage on the Waveform, right? So, VAN is plus 2 VDC by 3, VBN and VCN are minus VDC by 3 for 60 to 100 degrees conduction mode. Okay, so VAN, I am taking different color, VAN is plus 2 VDC by 3, so this will be VAN, this magnitude here is plus 2 VDC by 3, VBN and VCN are minus VDC by 3, VBN is minus VDC, so this will be minus VDC. Earlier it was minus 2 VDC, now it is minus VDC. VCN is minus VDC by 3. Okay, so this will be magnitude for minus VDC. This is plus VDC by 3. This is minus VDC by 3. This is also minus VDC by 3. So here, this is VCN. Now we will see what is happening to the line voltages. Okay. Line so what are they? VAB, VBC, and VCA. Right? So here VAB is VAN minus VBN, whose value is VAN is plus 2 VDC by 3, 2 VDC by 3, minus VBN is minus VDC by 3. So this will give us plus VDC, right? Similarly, VBC is VBN minus VCN, which is equal to VBN is minus VDC by 3, minus VCN is minus VDC by 3. So, this will be 0, right? VCA is VCN minus VAN, which is equal to minus VDC by 3, minus 2 VDC by 3. This will be 
how much? So this is plus 280, right? Plus 280. This will be minus 280. So VAB is plus VDC, VBC is 0, VC is minus VDC. Let us draw it. VAB is plus VDC. So it is continuous. And VBC is 0. So it is changed to 0. VC is minus VDC. Okay? So that was same here. Earlier VCA was 0, right? So it is now minus VDC. This is minus VDC. This is plus VDC. This is 0 here. And this is minus VDC. For 60 to 120 degrees. And let us see what is happening from 120 to 180 degrees. Okay? So here, let us see what, what are the stations that are connecting here. This is 120 to 